Hey everyone, welcome to the moment of peace. <laughs> I love this. Alright, so sitting out here for a few minutes, of course, looking up and noticing, of course, all the signs that are in the sun and the moon and the stars. And peeking out over there is the strawberry full moon. Ooh. Apparently the Algonquin. I'm going to slaughter that Indian name, but um, it's harvest picking time for them. But the strawberries, yay, I love strawberries too. In season, so are cherries and lots of other good fruit. Notice how everything in life is, I don't know, can be pertained to the Bible, I guess. <laughs> the fruit of the Spirit, I don't know, I'm some kind of nut. Oh. Speaking of fruit, <laughs> I'm still knowing that, you know, Northern Israel is really getting hit right now by a group called Hezbollah, which is bigger and stronger than Hamas, but we got a Hamas down to south, and do you think that, you know, like, all the surrounding countries <laughs> that are prophesied in the Word, in Psalms 83, Zechariah 12, uh, Micah? are definitely putting pressure on Israel to do what they want her to do. And since Israel's taken her stand, of course, well, the hand of God is over this, all right? So just have peace, because Luke 21, wars and rumors of wars have been happening a long time. We saw it coming. We know what we're seeing right now because we're in waiting mode. Pretty much scripture's been fulfilled. Other than the fact that, you know, the true Passover is really coming up. So, <laughs> really, times and laws, is, everything's been changed, right? Flip flop, what time is it? Uh, just wait, wait for it, all right? Because that's all we're doing is waiting. So, I'm hearing I don't know, just lots of stuff out there that are saying that Jesus is coming. Um, because all the news is pointing to it. And if you got the whole world looking at this little tiny piece of land right now, which is totally prophetic and jumping right, hey, they don't hide it anymore either. We can see it. They can't see it. They won't see it. But some are asking questions. And some are, um, we're not God, we're not the Holy Spirit, but we are the seed planters. Speak a word, somebody might listen. You never know. Um, the road is narrow, and you know, as Christians, we take a stand with Jesus and stand for good and righteousness and for truth. So I know that many of us are struggling with all these things. I know that tons are flying so fast. I can't catch up and keep up with things amongst the attacks from the enemy, which we have the armor, that's accordingly. We had the full moon. We had the equinox, all right? I pray that everybody knows what that was all about. And it was also, uh, uh, approximately speaking, 15 hours and 15 minutes long for the day. I thought that was the longest day of the year. So, wow, okay, summer is now, and now we have summer. Um, flowers have bloomed, things are happening, but of course summer is not, it doesn't mean that it's after time, I'm not saying that. That scripture doesn't relate to that, that's for mid-trib. Anyways, my opinion. Um, anyway, uh, okay, so I'm babbling again. Things have been on my mind and on my heart, uh, just trying to get things done free myself up and you know how you know when you get one thing done you got another thing to do <laughs> when you thought you got something done okay I'll put that on my list so we're taking our morning walk out here <laughs> literally morning walk in the backyard and looking up and feeling his presence and soaking him up because you know you just said that he that dwells in the secret place of the most high now you know in this world of wickedness we don't 
present and put ourselves out into the wicked without being into the presence under his wing in his shelter of protection. We must have him to do so before going out. That's why it takes everything else to protect us in the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Though I speak all that over y'all and faith and patience and blessings and healings and, you know, these things are there. As you know, he has set a table before us and he has given all of us the ability to put things under our feet and cast out demons in his name <laughs> and to endure until the end because it's not yet, but it's coming really soon. Are we ready for liftoff? Absolutely, I uh, would say. I pray so. Oh, I want to say, Lord Jesus, oh, you know, the enemy likes to come in and say, did you do enough? <laughs> You know, were you good enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't, no, I wasn't. None of us deserve it, and none of us are worthy, but Jesus made me worthy. Thank you, Jesus. But only he is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us of all of our unrighteousness when we repent. So tell him daily that you love him. Turn away from things up to this fool. Come out of here, my people. We don't belong here anymore. This is not our home. We're just passing through. I can feel it. You can sense it. In the meantime, we have to occupy. <laughs> it's like going through the motions, right? Yet, really? Seriously? He said he came to give us life and life more abundantly. So we have to live during this time as well. Um, I'm so blessed having all these girls <laughs> and these kids. These critters, as much work as they are in governing over these things and this um, garden of light that I've been given this year. Praise the Lord. Saying that, it gives me strength because he's my joy. It gives me peace. It gives me hope. Right? And he can do that for you too. He does give it to you. Oh, as the sun keeps popping. The sun, sir, the son of God, <laughs> representing the church is the moon, but I can't seem to focus in on it. Oh well, it's behind the tree, sir. Can you see it? <laughs> oh, there it is. It's supposed to be pretty bright in the sky tonight and directly across, um, because of the equinox. I think it's every twenty years. That this would happen on a full moon right after the equinox. <laughs> uh, un uncannily coincidences that are happening right now, right? That we know that there is no such thing as a coincidence. <laughs> oh, yeah. Praise the Lord. Enjoy the new normal, y'all. But keep looking up because one thing is for sure. Jesus is coming. Peace out from Texas and Maranatha. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already.